Ladies and gentlemen, start your lawnmowers. So a lot of people ask why is the Air Force or Institute of Navigation interested in mowing lawns? And it's really not the end all be all that we want to build autonomous or robotic lawn mowers. It's we want to get students engaged in a project that gets people thinking about integrating systems and defining requirements and finding out the stakeholders and doing all the kinds of systems engineering tasks that we as engineers tackle every day. And doing so in an environment that's fun and that the students can actually see a realizable product at the end of it. I think somebody should get involved in the competition because it's just like any other design project. You really need this real world experience working with electrical, software, mechanical engineers before you go out into the workforce. It leaves you much better trained. This isn't the first project like this I've done, but this is definitely one of the best ones that I've done as far as hands-on experience. It's a really good experience. It's being able to accommodate all that and learning how to integrate all the systems and have the, this thing actually work. And then you bring it outside, you turn it on and you see it doing its thing, so it's really good. When you get students involved in projects and using technology for the first time, you get a fresh perspective. You're bringing their different life experiences, their different ways of thinking, and those all come together to possibly come up with new applications for your technology. Well, part of electrical engineering is we learn a lot of theory, and they kind of joke that, you know, in electrical engineering compared to civil and mechanical, we don't do as much hands-on. However, this project has pretty much been nothing but hands-on. I know I've been building anything from mechanical stuff, doing CAD drawings, all the way up to electrical circuitry, and programming mainly. Real-world applications are what you really learn through the mower competition. The most valuable part is just the hands-on that you get from the, from the competition. You learn a lot in the classroom and a lot of great textbook equations, and the theory is really good to know, but it doesn't always work out whenever you try to really apply it. So you learn a lot of valuable experience where it might work in simulation, but then you try to actually apply it like our compass. Our compass worked great in simulation, and you get out there and you start having some noise picked up from motors and noise picked up from engines and you have to figure out neat little ways to compensate for that that you just can't figure out in simulation. Like you have to really apply it to a real piece of equipment to see how you can overcome it. Other students should get involved in the competition for a couple of reasons. Hands-on experience, uh, that's, that's a huge thing I, I'm a believer in. And just coming together as a team is also really, really fun. You work as a team and work with technology and if you have a passion for that, well, it's a nice way to bring all of that together. I think other students should get involved in this competition because it's a great resume booster. You know, I get to interact with different companies, the Air Force Research Lab and John Deere, and I get to see things that they're doing, maybe incorporate those ideas in my next year design, but also at the same time, get one-on-one -on -one face time that I might not be able to get at, say, a big recruiting fair or something like that. There's a real shortage of students that are choosing to go into the STEM fields or science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And this is a huge part of our AFRL and IONS educational outreach program to try to inspire people to tackle really challenging engineering problems. The Air Force is the technical military. And so we've got a vital interest in recruiting new technical talent and in raising the level of interest in all Americans to study technology and engineering. And that idea that you can envision something, build it, carry it out, you know, that's the spark that, uh, that we want to have in the engineering force and working for the United States Air Force someday. I want to come back because it's fun, exciting, and it's challenging. 
The robotic lawnmower competition is definitely a highlight of my summer. Uh, you get out here, you get a nice tan, and you get to play with robots. What could be better?